Time to try a whole bunch of jack-in-the-box items. So I'm not doing ice cream, because that's just, they're all the same, and it's annoying to get ice cream. Uh, but to make up for it, it is past 9 p.m., and I will be trying their late night munchy items. Now, I don't know if you actually need to wait until 9 p.m. I think some of these you can get prior, but I think thematically it makes sense to eat it at this time because that is the purpose, right? So I figured, why the fuck not? This meal is the Cur Sriracha Curly Fry Burger meal, which sounds intense. Okay, it's a burger with curly fries and oh, like a sriracha sauce. Okay. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm amazed at how bad the burger quality is. <laughs> it is quite nothing. With that said, the richness of the potatoes have a nice soft crunch. The sauce is okay. This is not awful. The curly fries are doing a lot of heavy lifting on this. B minus. This needs more sauce. This needs more cheese. The meat is so sad. The fries can't do all the work. Because this, this box comes with the fries, let's try a fry. They are completely fine. A little soggy, but not bad actually. B. And then the curly fries on their own that's better, like a B plus. This comes with a taco. I've never had a Jack in the Box taco. They are infamous because they are greasy. It's just meat, lettuce, and a American slice of cheese. That is disgusting, but I get it. The grease is what saves it. Will I eat both of these in the box? Absolutely. B, I don't hate it. Uh, this is the one shake you'll see, because my wife happened to get a strawberry shake. Well, that's thick. I mean, it's great. It's strawberry ice cream and syrup and whipped cream. S tier. I mean, it, <laughs> it's, it's just gonna taste good. That's why I'm not doing the shakes. Stacked grilled cheeseburger. Is that a grilled cheese for the bun? Hmm. It is very decadent. There's like a cheese sauce, which I actually kind of like. The bottom part is just bread though. The cheese sauce adds some good flavor. It's unnecessary, but they are just hitting the spot. So, you know, I think that cheese sauce is gonna bring it up to an A minus, actually. I found out that I could get these without the meals, so I can just try them. Uh, so these are the last two munch late night munchie sandwiches. The first is the chicken tater melt. That is, oh shit, is that a chicken with cheese, bacon, and a hash brown on a croissant? Mmm, wow. That's excellent. Croissant, buttery, flaky, chicken, whatever. But the bacon, okay, that's kind of whatever too. But really, the hash browns, there's like a cheese sauce and cheese, and then combined with the chicken and bacon, it's like rich, flaky, like just decadent. You know, I like a lot, I'm gonna say S. S That's really good, that's really satisfying. Uh, and now we have the spicy nacho chicken, which is, looks like sourdough bread or something. Chicken, uh, cheese, onion rings? Jalapenos, I think. Okay. This is okay. Chicken is very whatever, so it's just kind of like a dry chicken patty. Cheese sauce helps. I like the jalapenos, the onion rings you can barely taste, and the bread's okay, but really that chicken kills it. So for me, this is like, um, the cheese sauce helps. So I'm gonna say B. If this chicken were like juicy, this could be like a B plus higher. As it is, the cheese sauce helps a lot, but this chicken is just kind of shit. First off is this delicious side salad. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> uh, Iceberg lettuce, lots of carrots, cucumbers, and tomatoes. That's just carrots or is it cheat? No, it's that carrots. Is, those are carrots. Yeah. It comes with gourmet croutons. Are they gourmet? That's what it says. Gourmet seasoned croutons. 
and ranch dressing. Okay. Now, their ranch dressing, I remember, is actually pretty good. But let's see how it is on a, this delicious looking side salad. Just. There's a cafeteria salad. Why do they sell this? Uh, in case, you know, because you go to Jack in the Box, you want to be health conscious. <laughs> you want right? to get a salad. Yeah. C minus, uh, it's completely generic side salad. This is the Cluck Sandwich. Looks like this is their response to like the whole chicken sandwich craze. It's got chicken, pickles, mayo. I think that's oh, it. Oh, yep, that, yep. yep. I don't hate it. Um, it's definitely like, out of all these chicken sandwich imitators, the worst one. But <laughs> they definitely tried though. Like the chicken is actually okay. Like it's not super, it's not dry. It's seasoned pretty well. Pickles are nice, but um, it's like a low B. It's not bad, but not great. But thank God the chicken isn't super dry like their other ones. All right, first off, we're trying the jumbo egg roll. I think I've had this before. Let's give another shot. It's got meat and veggies. It's not bad. Well, it's pretty bland. The shell is crispy. Um, it's inoffensive. I would say this is like a, like a B minus. Sourdough Jack. It's got patty, looks like tomato slice, cheese, bacon, sauce. One thing I'm noticing about Jack in the Box is their bacon sucks ass. The bread's pulling the way here. The burger's fine. Bacon's whatever. Tomato and cheese help. It's like a decent grilled cheese or like a patty melt. It's actually pretty satisfying. Seems shit, but actually pretty satisfying. One more bite. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm liking it more and more. B plus. Here are chicken nuggets. I don't think we've ever had their chicken nuggets, or at least it's been a long time. Unremarkable. They're not awful, so I'm gonna say C plus. They're just generic little mush nuggets. They're not very flavorful. Jack's spicy chicken. Hopefully this will be better. It's got chicken patty. It looks like tomato, mayo, lettuce. I think that's it. Okay, let's see if I can get a bite of tomato as well. The lettuce is surprisingly crisp. And the fact that I'm talking about the lettuce first is a bad sign. The spice level is pretty good, but it's very just crisp with no juiciness. I think I'm gonna say C plus on this too. First up, we got the, the stuffed jalapenos. These have like cheese in them and they're fried. Nice texture, the jalapenos are nice. A minus, they're just solid fried cheese stuffed jalapenos. You can't really go wrong there. The loaded tiny tacos. Oh boy. They're <laughs> tiny tacos and apparently they have, okay, like yeah, the taco seasonings, not seasonings, but like, Toppings. Okay. If you're like me, and you have a guilty fondness of their nasty tacos, these are pretty satisfying. I don't know if I need all this stuff on top, because it kind of makes it wet. I mean, it's like covered in like sauce and cheese, which is not a bad thing. It's just kind of messy. They're definitely better than the regular taco because the regular taco has a nasty American cheese. Actually, they're just different. A minus, I'm kind of feeling it. This is a chicken teriyaki bowl. Cause when I think Jack in the Box- <laughs> That looks really good. <laughs> when I think Jack in the Box, that's what I want is a chicken teriyaki bowl. Uh, looks like chicken, teriyaki sauce, rice, and like two pieces of broccoli. 
the chicken is a little springy, but not bad. It's not dry. The sauce is a little sickly sweet, but not bad. Rice is just rice, and then just broccoli. Like, I would rather eat this than Panda Express, maybe. I'm so conflicted right now. This is actually not that bad. I'm gonna say, wow. Am I actually gonna give this a pretty good rating? B plus. What? B plus, I'm amazed. This is not that bad. Chocolate overload cake. Mmm. Just like chocolate. Try this like a lava cake of some sort. Chocolate, 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 act. Okay. This is like a good, decent chocolate cake. The frosting is nice and rich, actually. I'm not a huge chocolate guy, but unless it is, that's like a, I think it's a B plus too, actually. Mm. Um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I noticed on the menu, they had spicy chicken strips, which isn't on their website. So I, maybe that's a regional thing. So I decided, okay, I guess today will be a chicken strip day where I get the regular chicken, crispy chicken strips and the spicy chicken strips. It's really too bad I don't give a shit about chicken strips in general, but hopefully these are good. Let's go with the regular first. Well, not too dry, but nothing special. Low B minus, I guess. Now let's try the spicy ones. Okay, these are drier, but I think that might just be how these turned out. Unless there's something to do with the spice that like dries them out for some reason, but I doubt it. I will say the spice flavor makes up for the dryness. So they're also B minus. Would I ever get these again? Never. I they're not they're not anything special, but and now we have their New York style cheesecake. It's a sad cheesecake. B minus on this. It's a B minus day. Chicken fajita pita. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> with salsa. This tastes like an elementary school kid's lunch. Cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, and salsa. It's not hot either, it's like cold. See, it, it's <laughs> fine. It's The chicken is at least not dry, thank God. Jumbo Jack. Looks like it's just, just a typical burger. Burger. Lots of lettuce. Lots of lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Not enough lettuce, I think. <laughs> Inoffensive in a good way. Honestly, I'm kind of digging it. Honestly, it reminds me of like a Wendy's burger. It's pretty good, actually. I'm going to say B+. I'm enjoying it. Um, something special, but better than this, whatever the fuck that pita thing was. <laughs> that, was a, that was nothing. <laughs> it's a chicken club set. <laughs> I chose crispy chicken because I don't hate myself. <laughs> but I, I have a lot of doubts. Looks like there's shredded cheese, <laughs> iceberg, a lot of iceberg lettuce, <laughs> cherry tomatoes. Your favorite cucumbers. cucumbers <laughs> and bacon crumbles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm gonna just try to get a bite of Chicken, bacon, tomato. The vegetables all taste like what you would expect. So let's dive into the bacon. Is okay. It is just kind of bristly. Chicken is not bad. I mean, that's a ranch dressing. It's fine. C plus because of the chicken. Otherwise, it'd be like C minus. Here is the Junior Jumbo Jack. Looks like it's just your tiny burger. This is pretty good, but the, there's a little too little meat on this. Look how thin that is. That's so, <laughs> there's so much lettuce. There's so much lettuce. Um, <laughs> why? Why are all those have so much lettuce on them? The Jumbo Jack at least has like a decent patty. This is like a sliver of meat. Honestly, B minus just for proportion. Here I am again at a board game thing, making my friends stand awkwardly and watch me try this. Uh, 
It's the bacon ultimate cheeseburger. It's got two patties, whole bunch of cheese, bacon and sauce. You know, no, no, uh, no veggies on this bitch. All right. Huh? It's got like baconator qualities. Just not as good because it's jack in the box. I like the sauce, I like the cheese. You know, if I want to clog my arteries, it's a pretty good way to do it. Fuck it, I'm gonna say A. It's pretty satisfying. Even if Jack in the Box's meat quality is not that good. Cover it in cheese and sauce and bacon and I'll eat it. Okay, now it is the ultimate cheeseburger without bacon. It's the same sandwich, just no bacon this time. Honestly, the bacon and Jack in the Box sucks ass, so I barely noticed anyway. This is more in the vein of like a, you know, McDonald's cheeseburger instead of a Baconator, but big. I will say I actually missed the bacon. The bacon actually helped with the other one to make it more substantial. It's like eating a big version of a McDonald's cheeseburger. B plus. It's pretty good, but actually the bacon, I apologize bacon, it actually helped. All right, I'm in the middle of a board game charity stream and I'm just doing this. Uh, first up, we got tiny tacos. They're just tiny little tacos. Uh, the non-loaded ones these time this time, so there's like, is it just grease meat? All right. How oh, is it still not my turn? I kind of dig it, but I actually wish it had the loaded toppings. That really helped. B, they're okay. Mini churros. Mm, pretty good. Nice and warm and sweet, chewy. A minus. First off, we got their onion rings. Onion rings can be hit or miss anywhere, so let's see. Very bland. There's like no seasoning. The crunch is pretty good. Onion's okay. Because the texture's pretty good, B minus, but these are really bland. And then we have the chicken sandwich, which this is grilled. Oh boy. It's grilled on sourdough with, looks like some kind of sauce, lettuce, tomato. It's not awful, but it's pretty bland. Needs more sauce. The chicken itself is not very good. I'm gonna say C plus, but I think that's pretty generous for this. If this were on a bun, I think this would be a straight up C or worse. So I didn't realize <laughs> that the hamburger and the cheeseburgers are different oh. menu items. So this is the Jumbo Jack hamburger, no cheese. <laughs> you never realize how much cheese adds until it's gone. It's still pretty good, like it's just a hamburger, but cheese adds that nice creaminess and more savoriness and just makes it you know, a little more, brings it all together. So would I eat this again? I wouldn't get this on my own, um, but it's not terrible. So I'll say it's like a B minus, like it's not bad, but it, it that cheese really does go a long way. Another salad. Mm, looks great. <laughs> This is the Southwest salad. Ooh. Oh, okay, there's corn. Whoa, wait, what are those? Spicy corn sticks. Whoa. And we got a Southwest dressing. So this looks more promising than the, what the fuck is it, the club salad or whatever the fuck. Some bean. Some bean. Some bean. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. This benefits a lot from sweetness of the corn, the crunchy potato sticks help with the texture. I like the beans. This is a solid <laughs> salad. For a fast food salad that's just thrown together. Yeah, I would eat this. Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> good. I would say this is like a, a solid B, like an upper, up there B, not B plus. It's better than the burger. Better than the burger, yeah. <laughs> this, this is pretty good. This is the Junior Jack hamburger. Oh boy, a little sad. Again, without the cheese, it's a big blow. Very small meat. I don't think it's awful. It's got the pickly tomato, you know, nice veggies that are really doing the heavy lifting. But overall, this is like C plus, low B minus. I'm gonna say C plus though. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty sad. And I think it might be even sadder in a second. This is the grilled chicken salad. Looks like this. It's not even like, cut up chicken. It's like, they just threw a slab. Comes with balsamic and some croutons. 
All right, let's go for a bite. Not horrible. The chicken is surprisingly moist. That brings me some big pluses. This, was, this would have been real sad. The rest of it is pretty blah though. I'm gonna say C, it's nothing special. The grilled chicken is actually okay. All right, now we just got one sandwich. The double jack. I think it's just a big old double patty, burger with fixins, you know, lettuce, tomato, typical shit. Like I mentioned before, very similar to Wendy's. Just imagine Wendy's, but with worse meat. It's like a leathery Wendy's. Like meat patties that have like a, a slight leather texture to them. With that said, it's tasty, but this is not what I go to Jack in the Box for. I don't go here to get worse Wendy's. I go for like gross grease bombs. That's what Jack in the Box does right. So this, it's like a B. It's not bad, but more leather doesn't necessarily mean better. This is the Homestyle Ranch Chicken Club. Again, their chicken sandwiches are not, have not been amazing, but looks like crispy chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, probably some kind of ranch sauce, maybe bacon. God, that's dry. The chicken is dry, too salty. The bacon helps a little bit with the crunch, but even the veggies are over, overshadowed by this dry, salty chicken thing. It's horrible. Also, I can barely taste, if there's any ranch sauce on this, I forget it, there is, it's like the thinnest spread. I think this might be the worst thing I've had. D plus, but this sucks. This chicken is, it's bad. The spicy chicken sandwich with cheese this time. Getting real sick of their chicken sandwiches, but all right. Bun got kind of mangled. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's okay. Spice is admittedly not bad. They clearly like toasted slash buttered the bun, which actually helps quite a bit. There's a little more flavor. Needs more sauce. A lot of their sandwiches just are too dry, but in terms of the chicken, the chicken's not horribly dry here. Actually, no, okay, it's a little dry. I'll say I'm not really feeling this. I'm gonna say like, C? The classic buttery jack. It's got Swiss cheese. It's got butter. Hell yeah. Oh shit, a lot of mayo on that too. Uh, all right, let's go. Are there no tomatoes? Oh, there are tomatoes. Okay. Huh? Swiss cheese actually adds a lot. You can really taste it. Combines really well with the butter for a nice richness. But the Swiss cheese thing is, is, is like the best part. Tasty, it differentiates it from just like regular ass like Wendy's style burgers. So I'm gonna say this is like um, a my. Yeah, you can just say it's an A. I'll say A, I'll say A. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Final item on this journey, the bacon and Swiss buttery jack. Bacon, Swiss, butter, all my favorite things. Save the best for last, let's go. So this represents everything I love about Jack in the Box. It's nasty, it's buttery. You just got bacon, meat, cheese. Like it's kind of like a garlic butter almost, which is great. Just greasy and good. That's tier. So that is every item at Jack in the Box. Overall, I would say pretty satisfying. If, they're, if you're going for nasty ass greasy food, that's the best stuff at Jack in the Box. If you try to get stuff that's like healthy or their chicken sandwiches or stuff that tries to be like Wendy's, it's not as good. But if you get something with butter on it or their nasty ass tacos or anything else, biggest surprise was the chicken teriyaki bowl and that was surprisingly good. Chicken tater sandwich was like the biggest like uh, new thing I had that was amazing. Um, so yeah, it, it fared exactly how I expected it to. It's nasty, but satisfying, greasy. Go, if you're gonna go there, just eat the greasy, nasty shit. Bye.